on his channel. But uh, we were talking, and uh, we thought it'd be kind of cool to do a what got you into collecting. What got me into collecting? That's a great question. Uh, this is a video by Ken 16-bit. Sorry, I almost forgot your name. I had to look at the uh, monitor to see. But uh, this is a great question, and I just couldn't help myself but to answer it. Basically, I started out with eBay. I was making hand over fist of money, money, monies. And uh, I was doing pretty good. I was picking up RPGs and, uh, you know, mostly Super Nintendo, uh, uh, PlayStation 1 RPGs, reselling those. I was doing Magic cards. I was doing Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I was, I was on fire. I mean, I was, I mean, it wasn't like a huge ton of money, but there were several weeks I was making, you know, almost a few hundred dollars. I mean, I was literally decent at doing that. I always promised myself one thing as I looked at these video games. I said, do not ever fall in love with the product you are selling. Uh, I literally said that to myself a lot when no one else was around and I just laughed because I actually remember doing that. And then um, a small stack of about 20, 25 games for NES. I looked at some of them and I was like, man, this is a really good game. I, I used to play the crap out of this. And then I kept doing that and I kept reminiscing about my childhood and I was like, you know what? A lot of these games I never had, and they're so cheap now, I can actually afford a lot of them. And even some of the more rare games are, you know, they're not bad priced. This was, you know, a few years back before this really started blowing up, uh, the whole video game collecting craze. In, in, in Missouri, anyways, I mean, it seems almost impossible to get anything cheap anymore, but... So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I just started sitting down one night, I played those games I was supposed to sell, and, uh... I just, uh, it, it just ballooned from there. I started going to yard sales, and I realized... There are a lot of people who uh, really get rid of stuff really cheap, and it just grew and grew. And my wife was, she knew I collected, but I pretty much started with Nintendo, and she's like, I hope that uh, this, you know, doesn't get out of hand. I was like, no, not really. She goes, how many games do you have now? I'm like, I think like 112 or something. She didn't believe me, so we went downstairs, and she looked at it, she's like, this has got to stop. And I just kind of smirked, and I knew... I knew I was probably in for it then, but uh, I got away with it, and, you know, over time, she actually got into picking up some of the stuff, and uh, it was really cool to see some of the crazy deals she got bringing me home, and that just, it keeps me going. That hunt for, uh, the hunt for just crazy good deals on video games that, you know, they're only, a lot of them are only going up in price. I mean, sure, there could be a, a video game crash, like the stock market or something, but... I really don't see that coming anytime soon. I mean, even with the newer stuff coming out, people still will put, will pay ridiculous prices for some of the stuff, you know, that, that we own. And, you know, if nothing else, if you're in a really tight, you know, pinch to, to buy a new game or something, you could always sell off something you know you could easily get a hold of again once, uh, you know, you have money someday again. So, uh, Ken, 16-bit, awesome question, and... uh I hope uh, you get a kick out of this response. And anybody else, you're more than welcome to comment too. Until next time, guys, a big goomba.